Hi, my name is Kalyani and I'm from Acute Data Systems. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to enter a sales order invoice for Sage 100. Today's topics include how to enter an invoice, update the sales journal, and review the entry made in customer maintenance. Let's take a look. Standard invoices are used to record a sale and increase customer's balance. When entering a standard invoice, you have two options. You can either convert a sales order to an invoice or enter an invoice from scratch. In this case, we will be converting the sales order into an invoice. So in order to do that, we will go in the sales order module and then click on main and invoice data entry. Let's click on the next batch number and click on the next invoice number. We'll look up for the sales order number that we want to convert into an invoice. So let's assume we are converting the order that was placed for Zoom Switch Company into an invoice. Select this company and we can see that all the information regarding Zoom Switch gets displayed over here on the headers tab. In the address tab, we can see the bill to and the ship to address. If there are no changes to be made, we can move over to the lines tab. When we go to the lines tab, this is the dialog box that is displayed where it asks you if you want to ship the complete sales order. Say yes to flag all the items on the original order as shipped. And now you can modify any line item or field after this. You can see that the amount that was ordered for this item code speakers is one and we are shipping one speaker now. The unit price is $20 and the total amount comes up to $20. On clicking accept, we can see the review of the total tab where you can see what is the invoice total and the invoice date and the customer. If any changes are to be made, you can do so at this point. Let's go ahead and accept this invoice. Close out of this. In order to post this invoice, we will go in daily sales reports or updates. Let's go ahead and click on this batch which we need to print and click on proceed. Make sure that your GL period and the sales order posting date matches. This is the preview of the daily sales order sales journal where you can see the customer zoom switch the invoice number and the order number at the same time you can see the batch number that is being processed and these are the totals for the sales order that is converted into an invoice. Say no to print the gross profit journal this is optional and if you want to update the daily sales order sales journal, say yes. And this is how you have entered an invoice for sales order and you have posted it. In order to verify the invoice posted, you can go back to accounts receivable module. And then in main, you have the customer maintenance task. We look up for the customer zoom switch and We'll go back to the invoices tab and over here you can see the entry that is made for the date that it was posted to and the invoice number and the amount and the balance that is due for this customer zoom switch. Click on accept. If you have any questions or suggestions then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.